Hello and welcome back to the new tutorial video from HaltDOS. Today we will see how to apply health check monitoring using HaltDOS VAV. To create the monitor, log in to HaltDOS VAV, go to Listener, select the one for which you want to configure health check monitor and then go to Monitor select existing monitor which you want to configure or simply click on Add Monitor to create new one. Enter the monitor name. Enable health check option if you want to use monitor for health check. A health check monitor in VAV is a feature that monitors the status and availability of a web application's back-end servers or resources. This feature allows the VAV to verify that the servers are functioning correctly and are able to handle requests, and generates alert if there is an issue. The health check monitor works by periodically sending requests to the back-end servers or resources to check if they are available and responsive. The VAV typically uses a specified URL or endpoint to make the request and look for a specific response code or content to verify the service status. Enter the health check interval, this field specify the time interval after which a periodic request will be sent to backend server to check if they are available and responsive. Let's say we set time interval 20 seconds then after every 20 seconds the monitor will check if backend server are available and responsive. Now enter fail threshold and pass threshold, the fail threshold is the number of consecutive failed health checks that the VAV will tolerate before considering the backend server or resource as unhealthy or down. For example, if the fail threshold is set to 3, and the backend server fails 3 consecutive health checks, the VAV will consider it as failed or down, and will generate a alert. The pass threshold is the number of consecutive successful health checks that the VAV requires before marking a previously failed server as healthy or up again. For example, if the pass threshold is set to 2, and the previously failed backend server passes two consecutive health checks, the VAV will consider it as healthy or up again, and start routing traffic to it. Setting appropriate fail and pass thresholds is important to ensure that the VAV accurately reflects the status of the back-end servers or resources, and prevent false positives or negatives. If the fail threshold is set too low, the VAV may incorrectly mark a server as down, leading to unnecessary downtime or alerts. Conversely, if the fail threshold is set too high, the VAV may not detect server failures quickly enough, leading to increased downtime or degraded performance. Similarly, if the pass threshold is set too low, the VAV may incorrectly mark a previously failed server as up, leading to traffic being routed to an unreliable server. On the other hand, if the pass threshold is set too high, the VAV may take too long to mark a previously failed server as up again, leading to unnecessary downtime or degraded performance. Now, specify the health check type from the drop-down list. By selecting the appropriate health check type in the health check monitor, you can ensure that the VAV accurately and efficiently detects issues with the back-end servers or resources. It's important to choose a health check type that is appropriate for your application and infrastructure, and to test the health check thoroughly before deploying it in production. This was all for this video. Thank you for watching, and for more such videos on how to configure HaltDOS VAV stay tuned.